YesWare's in-app reporting is available within the top toolbar here. Clicking on the My Reports icon will launch a series of reports in a separate window without leaving your Gmail. The first report that you'll see is called My Dashboard, and this is going to give you a general overview on your YesWare performance. It will tell you for the last seven days how many tracked emails you've sent, the overall reply rate across all templates you've used, how many active recipients you have on engaged emails, and this indicates that they have opened your emails or responded, and then finally, how many total link clicks you have across all tracked links that you've sent using YesWare. You'll also be able to do a bit of a deeper dive into which recipients are engaging with your email. So you'll see your top uh, recipients for number of opens, the number of link clicks, and then if you are tracking attachments, the recipient with the most views on tracked attachments. You'll also be able to see what content is succeeding. So what was your most opened email? What link was clicked the most? And then what attachment was viewed the most? The next report is your email activity report. This is going to show you how many emails you've sent, how many emails you've sent with tracking, and then what the overall open and reply rate is for those emails for the last seven days. Now, within this report, the reporting period is fully customizable. Clicking on this will bring a dropdown with pre-selected date ranges, and then alternatively, you're able to customize your date range. So let's say that I wanted to pull a report for the month of November. I can easily browse out to the month I want, and then just drag and drop the dates that I want. Once I select that, the report will automatically update. You're also able to filter by team. So if you're using YesWare's Teams feature and you only want to pull a report for a specific team, you can do so here. And then alternatively, you're able to filter across all teams. You're also able to filter to exclude your own data or users without activity. This filter is especially helpful if you are an administrator on the account or if you are a team lead or manager and you're not typically using YesWare. So your data may skew the average for the team and then any users who are on the account and not using it. Um, so if you are not an admin but somebody else on your account is and you want to just make sure you're excluding them, you can do so as well. And this just ensures that this team average here is not skewed by users who are not actively using the tool. So you'll see once I select that, the number immediately rose, and this is going to give me a more accurate representation. Down here, you're able to sort by email sent, emails tracked, and then the open and reply rate. So if you wanted to sort and see who on the team was sending the most emails, who had sent the highest number of emails with tracking, and then who had the highest open rate, you're able to do all of that very easily. Now, one thing to call out is that emails sent and emails tracked are a little bit different. So emails sent is going to represent the total number of emails that have been sent from your Gmail account in this specific time period. The number of emails tracked is going to indicate how many of those sent emails were sent using YesWare's tracking. So if you are disabling tracking on certain emails or if you're sending from outside of your YesWare enabled device, these numbers are likely going to be a bit different. The email activity report is also available for download. So up at the top, you'll see the download report button. And this will allow you to download this report into a CSV file to use outside of YesWare. So as a manager, this can be a great report to see how your team is using YesWare. And if you notice, there are certain users on the team with especially high open rates or especially high reply rates, it might be a good idea to dig in to their use of YesWare and see what they're doing to get those high reply rates. Are they making use of certain templates? Are they making use of certain campaigns? And if so, would they be willing to share them with the team so that other users on this team can also take advantage of those? 
The next report is the recipient engagement report. This is going to tell you what recipients are engaging the most with your emails. So you'll see a list of all recipients who you have emailed that have either opened an email, clicked a link, or viewed an attachment. So this is simply a demo account that I have. So I only have one recipient in this list, but typically you would see a long list of recipients that you've been emailing back and forth with. For each recipient, you'll be able to see the total number of engaged emails, and then the total opens, link clicks, or attachment views across those emails. Now, if I were to click into this recipient, I'm actually going to be able to see what emails they're opening, what links they're clicking, and if they were viewing attachments, I would also be able to see those in this list. The next report in the engagement section is the link click report. This is going to tell you how many emails have had link clicks on a particular link, and then the total number of clicks on a given link. So in this example, I've included yesword.com in multiple emails. And what Yesword will do is it will total the number of link clicks across all emails to multiple recipients and tell me how many total recipients have clicked on this link in a given time period. So for this report, the default time period will be seven days, but you are able to customize this to anything up to 30 days. For each link in this report, you're also able to view the recipients who have clicked on it. So this will bring up a list of all recipients who have clicked a certain link and also show how many total clicks they have. The next section includes template reports. The first template report is a templates by user report. And what this shows is overall usage of the templates tool. So this is a high level report that will report on all emails sent using a template. Similar to the email activity report, you're able to customize the reporting period for anything up to 365 days. You can use one of the predetermined time ranges up here, or you can manually select your own. You're also able to filter by users and teams. You can exclude your own data, you can exclude users without activity, and then you can also exclude any personal templates. So if you only wanted to report on templates that are being shared across a team, you could exclude this right here. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a high level report. So this is not going to show you what templates are being used by each user. It's simply going to indicate how many unique templates they used and then how many emails were sent using those templates. So in this first example here, three separate templates were used across 380 emails. You'll also be able to see the open rate and the reply rate for this template usage. The next report in this section is the templates by template report. This is going to give you high level usage data by template. So it is pretty much the opposite of the templates by user report. You're able to see high level data on how a specific template is being used across all users on the team, assuming it's a shared template. So in this report, you can once again customize the reporting period. You're going to see something a little bit different up there. Since this isn't a by user report, you won't see your own name with your own usage. This is going to just show you all templates that you have access to and how they're performing. You still can filter by team, and you're still able to exclude your own data or personal template usage. You can also choose to include any templates that do not have activity as they will be excluded by default. And then you can also include colleague emails. So what this means is any emails that you sent to a colleague or someone with the same domain as you using a template, they will be excluded by default as well, but you can choose to bring them into the report. Now, as you scroll down, you'll be able to see for each template who created the template initially and then what folder it currently resides in. So for instance, if you're looking through this report, 
and you happen to notice that a particular template has been sent quite a few times, it has a very high reply rate, and you want to find that template so that you can either share it or just view it, you're able to do so by looking beneath the template title for the original creator and then the location. So this can help you find the template in your own template library. The final section in the My Reports is campaigns. And we have two campaigns reports. We have campaigns by user and campaigns by campaign. So this is going to be quite similar to the template reports. The first report, campaigns by user, is going to give you a high level overview as to how each user on the account is using the campaigns tool. So you're able to select the reporting period and then once you select your reporting period, you'll be able to see how many total recipients each user has across all campaigns that they sent during that reporting period. You're also going to be able to see the total open, click, and connect rate across all campaigns in that reporting period. And then how many meetings were booked as a result of those campaigns. You can sort this report by either the user's name alphabetically, the total number of recipients, or the open, click, and connect rates. You're also able to sort by meetings booked if you wanted to see which user was booking the most meetings as a result of their campaign use. Now if you click into a specific recipient in this report, you'll be able to see all of the campaigns that they're using. So you're going to be able to see how many recipients they added to each campaign that they have access to in the specific date range. The next report is the campaigns by campaign report. And this is going to give you campaign level reporting. So you'll be able to see for each campaign how many total recipients across all users were added to that campaign, and then also across all users what the overall opened, click, and connect rate was. Once again, you're able to customize the reporting period. You're also able to use those filters to exclude any campaigns that don't have activity in the specific time period that you selected. And then you can also choose how you are sorting these results. So if you wanted to sort by the open percentage, you can do that, click rate, connect rate, or the number of meetings booked. Down below, you're also able to sort by clicking on the headers. So if you would prefer to do it that way, you just click on the header for the column that you want to sort by, and it will automatically Put your campaigns in order of the highest open rate to the lowest. If you click into a particular campaign, you'll be able to see a breakdown on these same metrics by touch point. So clicking into this campaign, I'm able to see that for the last 30 days, which is my reporting period, there were zero recipients in touch one. So all 316 recipients that were in this campaign in the last 30 days were in touch two. So this just gives you a bit more information as to how your touches are performing. So let's say I wanted to change this to the last 180 days. This is a little bit more helpful and it's going to tell me that touch one has a 73% open rate and Touch2 also has a 73% open rate. So viewing the campaign reports by touch can be helpful just to determine which touch in your campaign is actually resulting in the meetings that you're booking or the re responses or replies that you're getting. And that does it for the My Report tutorial. Thanks for tuning in and make sure to check out the other videos on Yes, Were You for more feature-related tutorials.